Hello, welcome to the video on the step by step solver in MindSpark. The step by step solver is a feature that we have introduced in MindSpark which enables the students to enter the steps of their solutions in the questions. These steps are then evaluated by MindSpark and appropriate feedback is given. This is the basic interface of the step by step solver. As you can see, there is the question expression or the equation which has to be solved, and there are the blanks in which the steps have to be written. The next button is used to move on to the next step. Below the blanks is the keypad which can be used to enter these symbols within the blanks. Okay, so let us try to solve this question using the step by step solver. So it says 3t plus 6 is equal to 15. Okay, so when you submit the step, it is evaluated. The green tick symbol over here shows that my step was correct. In case my step was not correct, so let's say if I write 3t is 15, it will highlight the entire step in red and it will give the appropriate error message. You can hide the error message by clicking on this red cross button. Okay, so let us try to solve this question correctly. This 15 minus 6. T is 9 T is 9 by 3 T is 3 when you have arrived at your final answer click on the mark previous step as answer button to record your final answer and then click on the final submit button for evaluation alright so let's take a look at another problem and try to solve it using the step by step solver. This question involves exponents. So I'll tell you how to enter the exponents in the blank. So let's say you want to write 10 raised to the power 3. You'll write 10 and for exponent you'll press the shift button on your keyboard and number 6. So this will give you the exponent text box in which you can write the exponent for that expression. Then click on the right arrow on your keypad to move ahead. Again press shift 6 and then 2 and then the right keypad arrow to move on. For the division symbol you can simply press the slash button on your keyboard and it will move the cursor down to the denominator. Similarly, you can enter 10, shift 6, and 4. Okay. So this is 10 raised to the power 3. For the multiplication symbol, you can use this button divided by 10 raised to the power 4. Okay. 10 raised to the power 6 divided by 10 raised to the power 4 is essentially 10 raised to the power 6 minus 4 which is equal to 10 square which is 100 this is my final answer so just click on this button mark previous step as answer and then click on the submit button for final evaluation. So that is how we use the step by step solver. Uh, write back to us with your feedback and any suggestions that you might have or if you are facing any problem. We urge you to use this tool yourself and help your students learn it. This is a very powerful tool which will, which will help them uh, learn the procedure in which the solution uh, has to be achieved and in which the problem has to be solved. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Please write back to us.